quarantine all over the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 and we are in the basic module if this is your first time we are learning about market structure highs and lows and trends and today is lesson number eight the three trend lines every time frame has remember everybody what we are trying to accomplish is the three pillars we are trying to build a strategy and a, and or a system that it's easy to obey easy to, to execute and that we understand we are trying to understand how risk management works inside this strategy and or system and the big one we are trying to learn about how our psychology works hello miguel hello time to shine sir Hello Hussein, hello for special and glad to hear your voice. Thank you Hussein. Everybody remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide. Why is that? Because of this one, the psychology part everybody. And also remember the webinars, hello Giuseppe, come estai? Remember the webinars are not trading or investment advice. The webinars are for educational purposes only. And for homework and or questions, you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact and my LinkedIn contact, everybody. Now, talking about questions, some of you, not a lot, but some of you send me emails. Oh, what is going on in the Forex market? Is the Forex market slow? Is the virus? Everybody, the answer is no. The Forex market continues normally has the normal swings hello Eddington how are you so the answer is no everybody okay nothing special is in the forex market because of the virus and the other stuff okay if you are going to use your strategy and your system if you are going to use the Fibonacci the market is going to move according to the Fibonacci sequence it's just an example that being said everybody remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat and on Friday Friday we learned about the leading and lagging indicators right tell me everybody what are the trend lines what are the trend lines are trend lines a leading indicator or are trend line not an indicator uh, not the correct word so what are the trend lines the leading tool or are the trend lines a lagging tool just increased volatility yes sir hello any all is well hello hello all is well how are you now let's move on everybody so indicator okay concept concept that we as beginner traders we need to learn Con concept okay the trend lines the trend lines may measure the bull slash bear strength okay this is number one this is a concept you need to learn everybody that the trend lines measure the bull and the bear strength I hope my English is correct leading indicator leading tool leading indicator tool that confers the trend yes everybody all of you right so the trend lines measure the bull bear strength right so and the three trend lines that every market every time frame has is the long term okay so number one is the long term trend line we're going to use an uptrend then we have it's just an example everybody then we have the medium term medium term trend line up trend line and then we have the short term or the aggressive one okay so the third one would be 
the short or short term slash aggressive okay so though those are the three trend lines that every time frame has everybody you have the three trend lines on the 15 minute chart on the one hour chart on the daily chart four hour eight hours monthly weekly you have those on all time frames and then of course you can you can have more aggressive right aggressive number one aggressive number two right now let's explain the concept that the trend lines measure the bull and bear strength and one more and it's a trading concept you need to learn as a beginner trader when the market breaks one TL stands for trend line it has an 80% chance to go to the other trend line this is a now a trading concept okay so we have the concept and we have the trading concept now let's say that the market is going like this right it's making higher highs higher lows relevant higher highs higher lows right like this and then something like this and then it goes like this and like this and then it goes it picks up speed right tell me everybody are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend Oh, passion, but this is an easy question, right? Yes. Are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? And everybody, the same goes for the what you are going to learn today. We are going to see if we are going to have enough time. If not, the same concept goes with the downtrend. Okay? Are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? What are we? And of course, yes, we are in an uptrend. Okay. Now, if the market does, look at this, what is going to happen right now. If the market does this, what are we? Are we in an uptrend? What we see is up. Yes, any? But what about now? And let me change the display distance, let the raise. What about now, everybody? Are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? What about now? And before you say, oh, we are in an uptrend, everybody, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to challenge you and I'm going to ask you, teacher but we have two lower lows and two lower highs and the second low and the second high are lower lows and lower highs how can we possibly be in an uptrend right before you jump everybody oh we are in, still in an uptrend 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 what i see i'm seeing this everybody and you can answer correctly only if you use the concept maybe it is a reversal crown any we are far far away from crowns any okay there are some beginner traders fresh new they don't know we are far away my friend from russia i cannot read russian my friend would you be so kind and change your language to English I cannot read Russian my friend can you be can you would you be so kind and change to English previous structure is not broken yet Miguel are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend everybody and don't be shy you can say oh we are in an uptrend you can say no we are in a downtrend you can say we are sideways you can say oh I don't know 
you can say I'm not sure you can say passion again with his questions you know I want to learn right and remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat everybody did you watch the previous webinars one or two times hopefully three times we talked about short term, long term in the previous lesson. Miguel says up trend still. Thank you, Miguel. Eddington up. This is just the way of the market or short retrace potentially. Great. Andrew or Andre. Andre up. Higher high. Victor says down. Giuseppe short term down everybody Giuseppe all of you are right everybody all of you are right but Giuseppe has the best answer time to shine also better answer I can be I can be English yes if you would be so kind I cannot read Russian I know only a few words, you know, like Zdrastvoche and Nazdravye, but <laughs> that's all. Spasiba, spasiba Bolshoi, but this is all my Russian. Okay? Everybody, so the concept that you need to learn, that we need to learn as beginner traders, is the trend lines measure the bull and bear strength. So, what do we have here? We have the. Who, who is stronger? Who is stronger here? Is stronger the bull or is stronger the bear? Who is stronger in here? Who is stronger in here, everybody? The bull or the bear? Yesterday I did the marathon of YouTube. Wow! Congratulations, Victor! How many kilometers did you run? I mean, how many hours did you run? Everybody, who is stronger in here? If the concept is true, the trend lines measure the bull and bear strength, who is stronger? Bears, yes, time to shine. So, what are we going to learn, everybody, is the vocabulary, okay? We are in the long term uptrend, right? Look at the uptrend line and let's color code this. Okay, so and let's make it blue. Long term blue. So long term, we are still in an uptrend, right? The bulls are winning. In the medium term, let's color code this in orange. In the medium foreground color, there you go. In the medium term, we are still bullish, but in the short term, we are bearish, everybody. So we have a short term bear. What does this mean? This is an introduction everybody to retracement trading. 12 hours. Wow, Victor, congratulations. Congratulations. So we ha we are in a short term bearish movement everybody. So vocabulary if you're going to teach somebody else what do you see what do you see teacher what do you see i'm seeing a long-term uptrend and we have a long-term bull i see a medium-term uptrend but i see a short-term downtrend see everybody this is why in the majority of examples there is no right or wrong you are going to have two traders one is going to be long and the other is going to short the market okay and the trading concept when the market breaks one trend line there is an 80% chance okay 80% chance that the market is going to go to the other trend line especially if this other trend line is near some level of past support that we're going to learn in the future lessons okay so homework and this is going to be one of the most challenging homeworks until now 
okay until now the homeworks were pretty easy right but the homework is going to be this one homework and like let's make it black homework try to find a trade when and where the market broke one trend line and went past tense and went to the other trend line okay this is the homework until tomorrow or this week or whatever but let's make it until tomorrow because if I'm telling you you can say oh yes maybe it's true you know and you can say oh maybe now this is BS it doesn't work this way and normally it doesn't work this way but if you do the homework everybody try to find a trade when and where the market broke one trend line and went to the other trend line then maybe you are going to believe to this trading concept and as we always say you can accept what we are teaching you you can reject no problem right but this is the concept that is going to help you so now the next question is I'm going to delete this one the next question is everybody what we are going to do in here the market has made one two three lows this is the first one quadrant this is the second one quadrant and this is the third one quadrant we have three lows to our lower lows and we have also the lower highs right and we are here question should we go short should we go long everybody and if you say long and short the next question is where the probability stands do you have a higher chance are you going to have a higher chance of success shorting the market in here or are you going to have a higher chance of success going long in here and remember we are trying to understand the leading and lagging thing so this is another basic stuff everybody if you don't understand in here you are going to have difficult times in the future lessons what is better to go short in here or to go long in here this is what you see everybody so where is the greater chance of success and don't be shy there is no right or wrong you can say oh I'm going to go short because of this and this and that or you can say oh I'm going to go long because of this and this and that yes Victor right now everybody you are my teacher okay I'm your student teachers are we going to short the market or are we going to go long are we going to buy the market because I want to make money right I want to make some pips and money so I want to trade this one should we go short meaning should we sell the market or should we go long what should we do time to shine wait till market hits medium turn trend line and go long on counter trend line and two higher highs higher lows great answer victor short great answer eddington do nothing for now you would go long but wait to enter until you have a down trend line break and a bullish can see great answer see everybody all of you are right time to shine you are right victor you are right eddington you are right any short has a bigger chance but it's more tricky yes any you are also right miguel says stay out till the retracement is ended up and up trend resumed miguel also you are right time to shine shorting too risky as it near the potential reward everybody all of you are right congratulations to you now now here comes the tricky question everybody what if this chart is a uh, monthly or weekly monthly or weekly chart 
for the traders that want to go long and wait if this is a monthly or weekly chart what then uh, my friend from Russia I, I, uh, can you write your name please says long great answer also everybody what if this is the monthly and weekly chart what then Victor send why because aggressive is being broken the short is being broken also we have a structure yes everybody you are my teachers teachers we are seeing this on the monthly chart and we are seeing this on the weekly chart should we go short or should we go long so you need to understand everybody as a beginner trader all of you if this was the one hour chart four hour chart even maybe the daily chart all of you were right okay but if we change the time frame then what we can short on the smaller time frames okay time to shine I think they so okay everybody who want to stay out and who want to go long in the previous example if this is the monthly or weekly chart and this is hap is happening right now Canada JPY Euro JPY GBP CAT GBP NZD USD JPY USD CHF you have this kind of picture so what now Victor says short any long on counter trend and break any do you know how much time I do not trade monthly you don't need to trade monthly everybody but the higher time frame are, is going to control per the price movement and the direction on the smaller time frame my question is everybody do you still want to wait for the market to reverse and go long and the great example is Eurocat Eurocat is a great example look for how let's see that right in some point in time everybody this was the structure and this is the monthly chart so and let's go on the weekly chart okay so and we are here right now look at this everybody so this is what and let's widen Eurocad so you would wait everybody and again there is no right or wrong okay but some of you are saying oh I would wait from 18 of I cannot see the uh, let me see transparency man I cannot see this 2017 and this is 2016 so everybody who wants to wait and there is nothing wrong with waiting but I'm asking you as a student teacher are we going to to wait for one year are we going to wait for one year here and this is just an example everybody of course where are we here here okay you know some of you are saying okay stay out you know don't wait for wait for the market to reverse which is okay it's not wrong but I'm asking you teacher are we going to stay out for one year Po position trade if we are in the upper band Miguel we are talking about the trend lines everybody not just Miguel but everybody else and we are going to check the charts in about a minute okay for the one who said okay let's short the market 
okay and for the one who said okay let's wait let's wait for a crown let's wait for the counter trendline break let's wait for the market to hit the medium term let's wait for the bullish candlestick formation and go along everything is okay but what if this chart is a monthly chart are you going to wait for a year before you trade this market I'm from Belarus okay my Belarusian friend how are you Victor I will go short because in a all time frame the probability are telling me short yes Victor everybody let's think together there is no right or wrong and you can say everybody yes passion I'm going to stay out because I'm a beginner trader I'm going to stay out for a year because I don't trust the market I don't trust you <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't trust the education yet I don't have the experience so yes I'm going to stay out of the market for a year it's also a great answer everybody don't be shy okay but remember Eddington uh, how is the saying lawyers like to sue actors like to act and traders like to trade because traders like to trade everybody most likely you know you can stay out of the market for a year in theory but because we have emotions and this is the big one most likely you are going to mess in here with the trades and most likely you are going to lose in here with the trades if you don't understand what is happening in here yes don't tell me no I've been there done this okay aha uh -huh, no I'm going to stay yes everybody I've been there okay I've been there I have done this traders love to trade so most likely if this is the monthly weekly chart you are going to trade this one okay and we talked about leading and lagging indicators right so everybody if you go long in here and this is the monthly weekly or the daily if you if you go long in here your long time direction is okay your structure is okay your bias is up but if you go long you are going to enter prematurely because this is the monthly and weekly chart and you are going to lose most likely and one of the biggest challenges that beginner traders have is we analyze the market we have the bias we see the structure and we see the long-term trend but we enter at the wrong time true or true everybody yes or yes is this truth or not you know I know how to analyze euro cad usd cad nzd cad the gold silver oil I know the bias on AUD JPY nzd JPY euro, euro dollar I see the structure on Canada CHF USD CHF GBP JPY but I'm struggling because I enter at the wrong time Okay, so you need to understand how the probabilities work you need to understand how the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame and you need to understand that you can have a short term bear in a long term bull and you need to understand Miguel and everybody else that you must check the monthly and the weekly even if you don't trade the monthly and the weekly because if you are struggling for five six seven years and I know some of you and you just don't listen 
you know I'm telling you oh but I'm trading on the one hour chart and the daily is my confirmation and I never checked you must check the monthly and the weekly before you enter the trade oh thank you for being honest Victor trade yes that's me Miguel says go to the daily time to shine you can trade it short until the market changes direction yes sir yes sir now one more thing everybody before we move on to the charts remember it's not that I mean it's not difficult but it's it's not that easy also right because as Miguel said if we are here right and this is the picture we need to check the short term trend on the smaller time frames because if we go short in here I hope you see the blue line everybody if we go short here maybe we are going to short the market when is the end of the extension and the market is going to reverse into a down retracement again why is that because the market in order to move it must wave okay to wave yes I think to waste for trading of course I check both time frames okay Miguel okay you can wait no problem so everybody this lesson today is an upgrade of the lesson on structure and the market wave and the probabilities okay so if you don't understand please go back on the Ducas Copy YouTube webinar page and watch the webinars again okay so if this is the monthly and weekly chart and you say oh let's short the market you need to check the short term trend right because maybe you are going to enter short when the extension is over and because this is the monthly and weekly chart you are going to lose why is that because most likely you don't have the trillions and the zillions of dollars or euros to sustain this one everybody okay you need to check how the market is moving questions before we go on the charts is it clear that the trend lines measure the bull bear strength is it clear that we could have we could be in the long-term bull market but we could have a short-term bear market that we should trade what we see meaning on the higher time frame we should go short on the smaller time frame yes better to be long it's less risky everybody and homework try to find a trade when and where the market broke one trend line and went to the other trend line okay let's move on let's open everybody USD 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 JPY weekly chart and let's draw the three trend lines okay we learned in the past lesson that we should not break the weeks of the candle so where is the lower low oh, long trend line let me see I'm going to connect this one and something like this and transparency okay so this is one and the long term so and the shorter whoops this is going to be black something like this again and okay I'm going to extend this again so long line I'm going to connect this low with this let's make it smaller Let's make it smaller I should not break the where is the break okay something like this 
and something like that there let's let's go let me see and we have one more right we have one more the aggressive one this is USD JPY and this is the aggressive one somewhere like in here hopefully okay there you go something like this tell me everybody is USD JPY in an uptrend or is USD JPY in a downtrend I have a mistake in writing English <clears throat> no problem teachers I'm your student teachers are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend and according to the answer should we buy or should we sell are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend teachers remember the bulls and the bears are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend and I'm your student everybody I want to make money should we buy USD JPY or should we sell USD JPY what do you think this is going to be green because we want to go up and this is going to be red because we want to go down time to shine can you zoom out please sir yes time to shine of course this is the total zoom out time to shine that I have on JForex okay Giuseppe long term up short term down very good Giuseppe any long term up short term down sell long term trend is up any says let's sell everybody now remember the trend lines are conforming the trend right so I'm going to draw also a downtrend line starting from here up in here somewhere and let's zoom in so and I'm going to go with the long line connect this high with this there you go and I'm going to zoom out any and this is the picture everybody and yes time to shine and Giuseppe and Victor you are right we are in a long term uptrend but we are in a short term downtrend or are we initially uptrend after we are sideways so Miguel is seeing something different everybody Miguel is seeing well before we do some stupid things right Miguel we need to check the sideways movement so the sideways movement this is what Miguel is seeing most likely right maybe this one and maybe this one right and before the market was like this one so this is what Miguel is seeing as you can see everybody there is no right or wrong you have different traders going in different directions you need to learn and understand if you everybody let's make one something clear you can go long as much as you can go short okay but the question is where is the greatest probability am I going to have a better chance to win if I'm going long if you understand the concept or do I have a greater chance if I go short if you understand the concepts everybody medium trend is up yes sir downtrend right we hit the upper band so long term downtrend no sir time to shine no sir we are in an uptrend 
we hit the upper band time to shine jforex is missing data if you open usdjpy on trading view you are going to see a different picture so time to shine no no everybody if you when you are going to put the upper and the lower band on the monthly chart double check triple check with trading view because jforex is missing data this is the lower band yes but the upper band is upper so we are still in a long term uptrend long term up bias on the usd jpy monthly chart if you did like this everybody this is wrong it's not your fault okay jforex is missing data so the upper band is much higher yes that's different yes sir time to shine you didn't do the homework huh everybody you should do the homeworks don't come crying after one year to you oh passion i'm still not profitable did you do the homeworks and this is the homework this is the next homework try to find the trade when and where the market broke one trend line and went to the other trend line usdjpy usdjpy is one example we had this trend line before you don't need to see the future the market was was you can have another more aggressive uptrend line right you can have 50 aggressive trend lines if you want let's make this black and like this so usdjpy is an example where and when the market broke one trend line and went to the other trend line and then it broke the aggressive trend line again and it went it waved see everybody the concept and again you can reject this everybody but if you want to learn a new trading concept when the market breaks one trend line it has an 80 percent chance to go to the other trend line passion why 80 percent what no, not 90 or 70 i don't know i learned like this this is from the books everybody I never ask the authors why 80, why 70, you know. But as you can see, and yes, of course, the market can do anything it wants, you know. Sometimes this is going to work, sometimes it's not going to work, but most likely, and again, everybody, the smaller the time frame, the less the concepts are going to work. Why is that? There is a lot of noise on the 15 minute chart okay the concept that you are going to learn work on one hour chart and above even the fibonacci most likely is not going to work on the 15 minute chart why not there is a lot of noise mhb hello boss little bit late hello mhb boss so the market went down and it went up see everybody now this example here usd jpy weekly chart is this example here it's the same example what are you going to do if the market's making lower lows lower highs breaking the uptrend lines the short term aggressive uptrend lines on the monthly and weekly what are you going to do right and here some of you said well i'm going to wait for the market to reverse i'm going to wait for the market to hit past level of support i'm going for the market to make a bullish candlestick formation and so on so again would you wait from 2015 to 2016 would you wait for one year 
would you stay out or would you short the market on the smaller time frames everybody passion I don't understand okay I have a question on the other platform everybody okay what you need to understand everybody is this what you need to understand everybody is that you could be you could be in a structural uptrend on the monthly slash weekly chart okay you monthly month h monthly you could be you could have an up structure everybody on the monthly and the weekly chart but you could have a down structure it's this is structure you could have a down structure on the daily slash eight hour slash four hour slash two hour chart okay so don't be afraid of the up structure on the monthly and weekly because you have a down structure and we are looking at the same green quadrant here green quadrant and whoops not this one let's make another one okay you need to learn everybody this one you need to learn this you could be you could have an up structure on the monthly and weekly and you could be thinking well I'm not going to short the market because we have an up structure and up Fibonacci and the market is up and I have an up bias so I'm going to wait you are going to lose tons of pips and tons of money waiting for a year I mean I'm not your boss you know and I'm not your father this is just a suggestion if you see that structure is on the day late hour four hour is down you have a down structure so you can short the market on the small time frame again you need to be clear where is the short term trend on those time frames because you could still enter in the wrong place and lose but instead of waiting and I believe me you're not going to wait for a year you are most likely going to mess with the market in here and if you don't un understand trend lines and where is the bull where is the bear are we in a short term bull long term bear you are going to lose and this is basic stuff everybody Victor says hey, question teacher since we are going up with the previous trend where we should take profits will be or stop loss what great question Victor what do you think and everybody else Victor is asking where where should be the take profit and uh, Santano hello where should be the take profit on USDJPY what do you think everybody If this is the picture and you are long, where is the take profit? And remember again, talking about take profit, we are going to learn different strategies. And one of the most important one is going to be the Fibonacci, everybody. If you ask me, of course, this is my opinion. You could also use you can use trend lines as take profit and stop loss you can use support resistance pivot points everybody help Victor out where could be the stop loss and the take profit
If you ask me, Victor, if we are in a sideways movement, I would take profit the first one up in here. And if the market breaks this area of the sideways movement, I would take my profit up in here. And this is without the Fibonacci. Because, as Miguel says, we maybe, right? We are maybe in the sideways channel. So the direction is until up here. Long term bias is up, right? Time to shine at the upper band if you are long. Yes, great answer. And stop loss, Victor, down somewhere down here. If you are trading the sideways channel, everybody, every strategy is going to be different. If you are going to trade the sideways channel, your stop loss and take profit is going to be totally different if you trade the Fibonacci or if you simply trade the trend lines. I have started the 101 course already covered up to beginner level. Congratulations Santano. If you have questions please feel free. Okay. Now I'm going to delete a few things. Delete, 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 delete. So this is the weekly chart everybody. And let's move on the two hour chart. Two hour chart. And let's compress the chart. Two hour chart. Everybody, are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? Should we be buying USDJPY on the two hour chart or should we be selling? use the JPY to our chart and we don't have time we have three minutes left so trend lines we are talking about the sideways channel right now so this is the uptrend line the market broke the uptrend line this was bullish force then in some point in time we were in a downtrend why is like this why is not like that? Because the trend line is a tool that confirms the trend. So and the trend and the red down trend line is not correct everybody. Why is that? Because the market was making lower lows, lower highs until here. So the red the red is incorrect, the black is correct. So bull, the market broke the uptrend line bear the market broke the downtrend line right now we are what are we on the two hour chart everybody are we bearish or are we bullish and we have again you know this is the long term on the two hour chart and this is the medium term so far right last question everybody if the market breaks this one should you go short or should you go long should you wait to go long or should you wait to go short everybody you need to learn this is basic stuff buy 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 uptrend uptrend bull bull yes if the mark because the market is going to wave right it's not going to go up to the infinity but the market moves up and it does extension retracement extension but just for just as an example if the market break this medium term uptrend line on the USD JPY to our chart where is the greatest chance to short the market because we have an 80% chance that the market is going to hit or to wait for the next downtrend line break and go long wait to go long congratulations any my friend from Belarusia you can short you can sell but the greatest chance is up ok 
okay you can short the market we said there is no right or wrong but we are trying to learn how the probability works so you can short the market but the trend the greatest force is up why is that everybody again because from the monthly weekly and daily and the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame from the monthly weekly and daily this market hit the lower band and it's moving up this is the daily chart right now right and the market broke the down trend line go short you can go short but it's going to be riskier better to go long if it make a long I would say wait till next to go long wait for the regular long okay everybody see you back tomorrow I hope you learned something today do the homework try to find the trade when and where the market broke one trend line and went to the other trend line see you back tomorrow stay strong everybody and learn with passion and trade with passion this is FX passion signing off